my own welcome to the people. What up? Go yellow here. Someone sent me this clip about a retired adult star, Mia Khalifa, speaking on relationships. Let's watch. Oh, we're comparing stats. Baby girl doesn't know that I am Tom Brady at this game. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage. Married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement. Engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is it is paperwork. It's something it's 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 a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you got to go. You got to go. You have to go. I know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things, but this is your life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? It's period. Do you want to be stuck what? with someone? Three failed attempted marriages by the age of 30 and relationship advice from that person? Bro, what are you talking it's about? It's ridiculous. Bro? Look at this. Taking relationship advice from a porn star is like taking physics lessons from a flat earther. Expecting them to teach about calculus and about the stars. They don't know what's going on. She obviously doesn't know what's going on. Why things keep failing. And that's not going to change. And she doesn't get it. I'd rather get my relationship advice from the flat believers and get my math from her. She did pretty good financially in her ventures. I would hope. Nope. And at least the flat planet people are dedicated to an idea. <laughs> they are committed. I'm not flat. And sadly, she's just a classic disgruntled ex porn star not taking accountability for her actions. And just to state the obvious, before everyone starts coming at my neck, getting all sensitive. I'm not talking about all ex porn stars or related careers, just the bitter ones that are having a bad day, week or month and want to take it out on everybody else. If you were a porn star, man or woman, and were able to find that relationship you sought after, Hey, the world's happy for you. That says a lot about you and a testament to who you are that you were able to mature and find your place of happiness without blaming it on the world every time you had a bad break. There are plenty of good women out there that good men will court and cater to. Good women that took care of themselves and their temple. And I don't know if that's you, boo boo. Because oh, <laughs> in her career, she was ruthless taking it to the face. And now you want commitment with the ring? Shit doesn't work like that. Real men have expectations. Obviously, you do. You're not going to go in the streets and pick up a homeless man and shack up with him. But she's absolutely right about one thing, though. That marriage is just paperwork which it is. But the commitment behind what a marriage is supposed to symbolize, if a relationship is real and genuine, then you don't have to sign papers for that. For the bond, that connection to make sense and go the distance. And there's no judgment on the choices you made while you were younger, as long as you made those choices willingly to take advantage of her youth and profit, which she did. But to then try and villainize all men because of your recent experiences is just weak. Mentally weak, weak for your soul, and bad for your spirit. When you cannot take accountability for your actions and the repercussions that follow. You're just stuck on the blame game. It's a bad script, like your movies. You can't just choose to be mad at the world as you try and transition to what you want the next phase of your life to be. You got to be able to laugh at yourself and have a sense of humor because the whole angry psycho babble bullshit, it's unattractive. You're not looking at yourself and reflecting on it. <laughs> you can't just scream at the top of your lungs that you now identify as a good, clean girl and expect everybody to just shut up and play along. Having just a little bit of foresight in this life will get you a long goddamn way. And you can try and spin it however you want. Men are not shit. I don't need them. But your intentions say different. After three failed attempts at love and a family life before the age of 30, it's obvious you want what you can't have. And that's a healthy relationship with someone who isn't a dumb f boy, a man with values and accountability who you can build a future with. Ironically, all the things you expect but don't possess yourself. Again, it's a bad script because any man with basic common sense will never wife up some chick who's had hundreds of random cucumbers down her throat. What the fuck? No real man is going for that. And all the funny guys that would accept you with that special edition resume of yours, you don't like them. Why would you? And I'm sorry, I don't mean to rant on forever, but sometimes you just hear something that just does not make sense. Coming from somebody that should, of all people, not be saying that. To be criticizing, blaming the industry, the bridge that you crossed to get to where you are now with over 35 million followers is, come on, 
You can do better than that. Three failed marriages by the age of 30 while taking it to the face your entire 20s is crazy behavior. You got to learn how to live in the mud. It's your mud. You made it. Excuse me. It's called accountability. And have faith because remember, good people, the earth is flat.